Greetings of Love Many people have wondered and asked the question what is the love essence of Mashaba? In order for me to fully answer that question, I have to go back to the beginning of this universe and come forward to the present. So those of you that wishes to hear the story of the Mashaba force and its journey to become the love essence of Mashaba, then bear with me as I lay it out for your enjoyment. It will have to share it in several parts. I want to share one thing before I proceed. So much truth is coming forward for humanity to decide for themselves if they resonate with it or not. Each person has to decide what their truth is. Many times the truth can be very powerful indeed and can knock you to your knees. It can cause you to undergo great change. Sometimes it takes strength and great courage to face the truth and even more to accept it. Because we have been lied to and manipulated for so long, we sometimes find it difficult to accept what truth is. Having an open mind is paramount especially when reading information, knowledge and wisdom that is completely new to your awareness. Some of this material is reprinted and some of it is new information. However, I cannot share the new information without going over the initial information that was shared. With that said let me begin with the being Mishaba who is the leader of the Mishaba planet. The evolution of the Mishaba force. Greetings I am Mishaba, and I am here with many, many beings that have come in support of the truth of what is. They have come in support of the Mishaba force energy, the Mishaba light force, the Mishaba love force. One thing I wish to make very clear is that all forces of creation are in the stage of evolution right along with all of humanity, and all of the rest of creation. It isn't just the Mishaba force. I would like to give you a tidbit of facts about the Mishaba force. All of what you have heard about the Mishaba force up to this point has all been correct information, that it is a force of freedom and empowerment that it is a force of divine love and oneness, transformation and change. That it is the deep and abiding love of the Creator. The Mishabda force has come to the place of its evolvement into the higher frequencies of existence, same as every single force or thing in creation. The Mishabda force as we know it, completed its mission and purpose for being in the world. It was the most completely successful mission accomplished on Earth. Its purpose was to bring into being the duality experience leading to the evolvement of humanity out of duality into the higher dimensions. It did that with great success. The Mishabda force energy was imbued within all of nature and its various kingdoms from the beautiful Mother Earth herself, the animal, and plant kingdoms, the oceans of the world, and within humanity itself. Within humanity, it was something that each living being was born with. It is located in between the cells of the body. Why was it within all things of earth and humanity? It is because the Mishabda force is known as the voice of creation. It speaks to all things animate and inanimate. It speaks to the cells, the protons, neutrons, and the electrons. It speaks to the dna. And when the word Mishaba is spoken, all things in creation stand still and tremble in the joy of delight. It was an incredible gift to all of creation in the second universe. It was the foundation that all was built upon to hold up this creation, this duality experience in order for Creator to grow and expand, to experience more of itself. Once its mission was complete, it originally was going to be returned to source to be recommissioned to another purpose, however, something extraordinary took place that changed the original agreement with the Mishabda force, into another agreement with unlimited potential. It has now taken on another reason and purpose for being in the creation. The Mishabha in its essence is nothing but total love. When you speak love, you speak Mishabha. When you speak Mishaba, you speak love. They are one and the same. The Mishaba force was called out of the pool of original force, 
prime perfect source energy by the one known as Anakanda Shaka Mashaba. He is the one that is the grand master of the Mashaba energy. It was done so with great love and integrity and knowing that it, the force, had its own destiny and pathway to fulfill. It wasn't called the Mashaba force at that time. It was the force of love, the force of freedom and empowerment. Creation is full of all kinds and grades of forces. Why the word force? Because it was the best word to explain its purpose. Force in its original meaning, means a mechanism for change. This word was deliberately tampered with by the dark agenda a very long time ago in the time of earth being populated, and also the time of the slavery system set in place by the Anunnaki to work the mines. Force was changed in its meaning to represent suppression, making someone do something against their free will, as in slavery. It was an energy set in place to mean going against the will and the very nature of a person who by their birthright is a free and empowered person. Why is this you may ask, why the word force was tampered with? The Anunnaki experimented and created slaves for the mines but there was a time when the people of the Mashaba race came forward to replace the slave species. Now, the people from that Anunnaki star system didn't want to do the hard and difficult work of mining the gold. They needed the gold to take back to their home planet to use for various vital situations especially for balancing their atmosphere for survival. So they went into the laboratories and began working on creating a race of slaves, a race of workers to work in the mines. They had a great deal of trial and error in this process. However, a while after they were successful in creating a race of slave workers, they were replaced by another race of very benevolent people. These people were from a highly evolved civilization and this race was a black race of people known as the Mashaba people. There is a reason and purpose why they submitted themselves to this and allowed themselves to become a slave race working in the mines. They carried, embodied the Mashaba force of love and freedom and empowerment within their very being. The Anunnaki knew that these beautiful loving people carried the Mashaba force of love and that the Mashaba mechanism for change would change the people and lead them toward freedom, empowerment and love. It was also an energy that they were not totally comfortable with and wanted to do away with it. So they devised a plan that made the word force appear to be something harsh, bad, cruel, forceful against one's free will. They extracted the true loving meaning and purpose of force as a mechanism for change, and turned it into something that worked against the people, and no one would be willing to love and embrace something that was cruel and forceful. This whole passage of time and experience of duality was designed for the express purpose of bringing the other end of the spectrum of expression back to itself, for those who carried the diverted DNA to express in their limitedness, and then find their way back to the infinite abilities that they had. Let me share something else with you. The Mashaba force that was used in the earth plane of duality, an energetic imprint of the original Mashaba force was extracted from the first universe that was used to create a specific Mashaba force energy for the earth experience. So it is in the totality of the force that was used on earth. It in fact only had a maximum of about 3% of the force that could be used, any more than that the duality could not happen. However, it did maintain its ability to be a conscious, aware energy that knew its journey and knew when its time has come to an end. However, as I said, something extraordinary happened concerning the force. 